Hi, I'm Ted Bear. Welcome to my channel, Communicating with Your Dog, the channel that's dedicated into helping you bridge your communication gap with your dog. In this video, I'm going over rule number five of 15 important rules that you should establish in your household and integrate into your dog training because you want an obedient dog. You'll have to go over some of this information with family members and regular guests in your house, but you'll be able to teach them some of this easily. By the way, you'll find links to all my videos, including all the rules, down in the description section below. I suggest you look at the first video I did that talks about the importance of sharing a language of words with your dog. Many people think that having an obedient dog is beyond their reach. Well, I'm here to tell you it's not beyond your reach. You can train your dog to be obedient and terrific. Rule number five, think like a dog. Human beings are gifted with their complex brains and their ability to reason. Why in 1828, Noah Webster compiled his famous dictionary of 70,000 English words. Children at the age of two already know a couple hundred words. Dogs, however, they have small and less complex brains and they just lack a good level of logic and reasoning. However, your dog can learn many words and you can help your dog close the communication gap. You're only limited on your ability and your time. You just need to make a plan and do it right. Think of it like programming a small computer in your dog's brain. Later, when you give a command or a set of commands, your dog will follow automatically. To accomplish this, remember rule number five, think like a dog. Dogs can't think on our level. You have the reasoning and superior intelligence to bridge the communication gap. If you're having trouble with training, your job is to identify how your dog is being confused. Perhaps your dog is hearing your word command that rhymes or is too similar to another one of your word commands. We had that problem with Tundra with the command howl and growl. And so we had to change one of the words. If you're having trouble with a hand signal, Remember first that your dog's eyesight is geared to movement. Perhaps a hand signal that works up close is lost at a distance, or maybe it blends into your clothing. There are many distractions out there, some of which you don't even hear, but your dog has wonderful hearing and a sound may be bothering him. Other distractions could be sense, people, other animals. It's just hard for your dog to concentrate sometimes. You want to do all your training in a perfect environment with no distractions. And then once you get the training down for those particular commands, then you want to add many distractions and get your dog just well trained on that command. If you think like a dog, It'll help you communicate better. Please give me a thumbs up and watch my other videos. My book, Communicating with Your Dog, is available on Amazon. It won the Dog Riders Association of America Award when it first came out. It's in its third edition now. It outlines a simple 20-word language for you to share with your dog.